turns out that this is the most efficient way to prompt and is called as JSON prompting, which is taking the world of prompting by storm. And I've tried this myself and I couldn't believe what I saw. Prompt engineering is something which is spoken about a lot because that is the only way you can interact with your LLM, uh, whether it is chat GPT or perplexity or any other LLM or any other agent or bot for that matter. If you're not good with your prompting, if you're confusing the system, if you're not letting the system know exactly what you want, you're in for failure because it's incredibly powerful. It is incredibly to the point. And there is a lot of difference between your traditional prompting, no matter how good a prompt, a prompt engineer you are. Uh, this new way of prompting, which is JSON prompting, is is killing it. Now, before we begin, JSON basically means it's called JavaScript object notation, where you basically try and describe everything like you do in JavaScript programming. Trust me, this is nothing to do with programming. This is just indicating labels, tasks, whatever you want to communicate, whatever you want to communicate with the LLM. So basically, you are very clear. It is very systematic. It is very structured. It identifies, it defines what the task is, what the input is, what the output is, and how do you want it, and how many of it do you want. So basically, very, very simple. Don't rack your brains about the JSON part of this. Now, let's go ahead and do a normal, simple prompt on ChatGPT like you see on your screen. So this is my ChatGPT screen. Let me zoom it a little for you. Not that something is wrong with your eyes, but I think I wanted to give you a better closer look at what I'm trying to do. All right, so you're going to assign a role. I'm saying act as a prompt engineer, a prompt engineer, or should I say act as a social media genius. And I'm trying to make a list of posts and I need inspiration and specific ideas that are well researched and not made up and something which can solve problems, pain points, and frustrations for my target audience. Now, my target audience is marketers and let's say business owners. I want 10 ideas, very intriguing and super impressive hooks with metrics or any other aspect that can make people stop scrolling, right? You can't hallucinate. You can't make stuff up, right? Put them all in a table. That's about it. Now, you also need to tell them that you, though you're saying, I'm ignoring the spellings. So don't worry about that. Did I say what is it about? I haven't told what the videos are going to be. The videos are going to be related to AI marketing. And I want you to also consider AI no code and AI video marketing as sub niches, right? So that's about it. So let me see what this, I've probably given everything. I've possibly given everything that the system wants to understand. Now let's see what this is. Here are 10 well-researched high impact post ideas for marketers and business owners in the AI marketing, AI no code and AI marketing, video marketing niches. Why 42% of marketers now use AI video and how you can do that too. Interesting. It also given me a source. From zero to lead magnet, write perfect prompts in under five minutes. Interesting. AI kill Google SEO. Here is how to try traffic to drive traffic in diff differently. Very good. Apps that turn your blog into short AI videos in minutes. Interesting. Right. Not not too bad at all. In fact, I love them. Right. So much better than what I usually get as an output. Right. So what I did was I included something called as a JSON prompt, which looks like a piece of code, like a JavaScript code. But it is very, very organized, right? So you see how, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to do content creation. There is no syntax. There is no structure that you need to be worried about. There is something called as a label about what is this all about and your instruction, as simple as that, right? So content creation, what is it? The type, it is going to be LinkedIn post. What is the topic? AI marketing. Now, SEO requirements, I don't say SEO requirements. I'm just going to say topics. Primary topic is AI lead generation. Now, secondary keywords are AI powered video and AI agents for video. Ideas needed are five. Let me use the same uh, AI powered video marketing is something that I used, I think. And I'm also going to say AI no code. These are my sub niches, right? Now, ideas needed are 10 just to give it a fair chance. I have hooking with a statistic or intrigue, two lines of intrigue, making it difficult for the user to roll, right? Uh, let's say I will also include something called as nature of the video, viral, shareable, and what else? Relevant and engaging, right? I've given my target audience, I think, somewhere. No, that's weird. Topic is AI marketing. I've not given my target audience. That's interesting. So I'm just going to say target audience is going to be marketers 
and marketers and business owners. As I said, I'm not paying attention to the spelling, so ignore that. All right, so wearable, shareable, da da da. Viral, share, shareable, statistic with so and so, two lines of 60 characters each, expert but accessible, encouraged, bullet points are encouraged. Anything else? That's about it. So I'm just keeping it simple, very, very structured, very, very clear as to what I want in a JSON format. And I just say, enter, let's see what happens. Here are 10 LinkedIn post ideas for marketers and businesses. Okay, I forgot to mention that I want it in a table. Anyway, so here are 10 LinkedIn post ideas for marketers and business owners in the AI marketing space with a focus on these. Now, structure to be viral, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now the first one is AI funnels that never sleep. Interesting hook, I must say. You're losing leads while you sleep. This AI isn't and it never clocks out. Interesting. One startup grew significantly uh, signups by 36% overnight using Tudio and Zapier. Tools used are these embed on high bounce pages. It is actually giving me a case study as such. Post idea two is the $0 AI video that sold 10K. Very, very good hook. No script, no studio, no editing team, just $0, $0 and smart AI workflow. How a founder turned this into, this can be a use case that I demonstrate, right? Then you have post idea three, why your lead magnet isn't working. Do you see how, how, good these hooks are and in, in, in fact they are able to stop people from scrolling i, I think i would stop looking at these uh, then you but i i really like the idea uh, ideas proposed by the normal prompt as well i'm not complaining that they're bad uh, apps that turn into but these are pretty much straightforward right i'm sure you must have seen these or you would have seen these. how one tool mine customer reviews uh, to reveal hidden pain i don't know what the tool is all about i don't know what they're talking about plus it is already documented somewhere right so but this is something which is fresh if you ask i really like these ideas so the ultimate ai follow-up sequence right it also gives you the context as to what you have to write about and i and i love this so you have why 68 percent of your leads never become sales also looks like a little made up this doesn't seem natural 68 percent. i don't know i need to search for this but if i don't like something i can always skip it and, and then move on right i built this funnel in one hour with zero code i just have to demonstrate what to do with this i think that's that's pretty much good now i have something interesting for you what i can also do is i can simply add this right and i can also say something called as style right this is just as an example i normally don't do this but let's say mr beast style without claiming that right i've just given a mr beast style without claiming that i did this or i ran that and so on just use his thought process not the video ideas now just to save time i'm just going to say ideas needed are just five this should be okay okay let's see how this turns out here are mr five uh, five mr b style videos 98 percent of site visitors never convert on the first visit this ai funnel turns them into leads automatically ai agents engage blah 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 now turn one video into 100 qualified leads good enough for hook but if i can back it up to this ai videos convert 2x better than static landing pages which is true here is how to turn one video into your best lead magnet the ai agent that books your calendars while you sleep very intriguing right so do you see how i can mix and match with a lot of other styles and these inputs are much clear much sorted much specific than the open 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 text prompts that you can you can you can pretty much see and compare it yourselves i've i will leave these screenshots if you need i will i will just leave these in a document if you need to compare eventually I would love this. I would love to use this format of prompting any day. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you go ahead and you you use uh, JSON prompting. And one important aspect that I love about JSON prompting is this is reusable. You can just have this create create this once, save it in one of the chat GPTs or save it in a document. You can re reuse this at any point in time just by changing the placeholder. Uh, JSON prompting is going to be here for a while. Is is going to stay. And I think all of us should start adapting to this style of prompting also along with what you're doing. Thank you so much. That's about it. My name is KC. And yeah, I'm definitely using these LinkedIn posts because I love them. Thank you so much, guys. See you in the next video. This is AI Boring Company.